Hey guys, what's up? ShaneWolf38 here. Now, for those of you that have been around for a while, you may actually recognize this as my maze generator. Now, I haven't really been keeping up with Minecraft news for a good while, but I did find out about functions a few days ago, and I decided to update this to work with functions. But before I show you that version, I want to show you an improvement I made just to the base maze generator itself. So when I place this squid here, you'll notice that the maze generation itself works just as the old version did. Uh, let me upgrade to a 10 by 10 maze, and I want to show you the difference that this has with the other version. So let me do F3 and B to show hitboxes, and okay, run this. And you're going to notice that in areas that have already been filled in, the entities actually get killed. So let me show you that one more time, and pay attention to where the hitboxes are, the enemies. Or not enemies, but <laughs> area effect clouds. Uh, yeah, so it actually deletes any entities that the system doesn't need. So if we open up a 20 by 20 maze, and let me just turn these back on. Uh, pay attention to the entity count. And note that in my old maze generator, this would actually take 400 entities. So when I start generating, you're going to see that the entity count rises up to about 100 it's going to keep going up a bit, and when it reaches 120, it actually starts going down. So now, yep, it's just going down farther and farther, and this is just going to keep going down until it reaches zero. So, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, once about half the maze is finished, that's when the, like, the cap is, and then it kind of just starts going down from there. So it's a really effective generator because you can generate huge mazes with this, much bigger than, than you could previously because it deletes any portions that it doesn't need. So yeah, it's much more effective and it's going to work much better with the functions command. So let me go and show you guys that now. Let's head over there. Okay, so here I am in the world with the function installed and I have a squid called build and a squid called maze. So if I set the size on the right side, you can see that the length is 5 and the width is 5. So I generate and I get a maze that looks like this. Well, not a maze, but a um, little grid. And then I can click this to generate that maze. And with the function, it happens instantly, basically. And uh, let's actually increase the size of our maze. So let's set the width to 10 and the length to 10. And then just place that right there. Oh, well, that, yeah, is not really supposed to happen. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot about that. Uh, okay, anyway, so now we can generate the maze again. And it takes about a second for a 10 by 10 maze. And then let's do a 20 by 20. Okay, so I think we need to set it here, right? Yeah, about. Okay. <laughs> so here's a 20 by 20 maze. This is going to take a little bit longer. So click it and fly up. See, it takes about three, maybe four seconds while I'm recording. But it happens just about instantly. And that is awesome. So now we have a full maze. Uh, so yeah, that's basically all I wanted to record or, you know, show you guys today. Um... I do apologize for the lag in this video. Apparently OBS kind of like it had an update since I hadn't uh, done anything to it for a while and I can't really get my settings to work properly. But anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There'll be a link down below if you want to go download the function. All you need to do is drag and drop it into your world and then get these two squids. And I'll also be making another video tomorrow, so hopefully look forward to that. I think it's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.